The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners working across Australian industry with key links internationally. Over the past few years, digital engineering technologies such as BIM, Building Information Modelling, has been effectively used in the design and construction phases of projects. However, BIM is less recognized in the operation and maintenance phase of a project life cycle and the benefits that BIM can bring when managing 3D model assets. This SBE NRC industry-led project has been running for the last 18 months across the housing, the buildings and the transport infrastructure and 10 case studies scattered nationally across Australia have been used to test the outcome of this research uh, on these case studies. In this project, we have developed a digital asset information management manual in the transport infrastructure sector, which has been validated in four case studies. This project provides clarification on asset exchange standard, asset a classification system, asset information requirement, and asset location referencing, it is expected that this project can provide guidance on how digital information can be used for effective asset management in the transport infrastructure sector. My role is to deliver um, what we're calling the Digital Engineering Framework, which is a program of change rolling out new digital technologies and the framework to support it to enable our projects to deliver smarter. We're currently witnessing a rapid uptake in the use of new uh, technologies and how we deliver and manage our projects. Um, these technologies include things such as building information modelling, augmented reality, drones, uh, virtual reality and so forth. At the moment though we're seeing this is well, largely being led by a supply chain with a fairly ad hoc approach um, across the industry. By developing a consistent approach we may um, start to standardise and uh, our data and information so we can um, start treating it as an asset and we can start unlocking further and further value through reuse and leveraging of that information. Project 2.51 um, aims to identify and deliver solutions for how asset information is managed across um, a number of sectors. Um, here at Transport we see this as a great opportunity for helping to shape the direction of our work by working closely with these researchers. So this research looks to address the challenge of not only creating a digital version of a client's asset, uh, but in a manner that can be handed over to them progressively for the, for the ultimate owner operator to use and leverage value throughout the whole life cycle. So some of the solutions that the research is looking to de deliver for industry is developing a digital asset information manual to help guide industry around how to procure and build digital versions of their assets to be of value and benefit to clients. In doing this, we've worked with um, core members of SBNRC, many are transport clients, buildings and housing clients with government to identify some cross-sector case studies, uh, one in particular that Oricon was involved in working with RMS New South Wales and Fulton Hogan was the Grafton Bridge project. And so we can look to leverage the learnings from projects such as that and the case study to improve the way we actually virtually design and help our contractors virtually build these assets, ultimately to hand over to um, ultimate clients. So Vic Rose has been working with SBE NRC on uh, Project 2.51, and we've been undertaking a case study uh, to assess Vic Rose's preparedness to implement digital engineering uh, across the organisation. So the, uh, the manual that's been developed as part of the project has been a really good tool for us to assess ourselves in relation to wider industry and, and how well prepared we are, as well as also giving us something that we can use as a guide as we move into that digital engineering space in the future. So there's an increasing need for government agencies to be more data driven and we're exploring ways that we can better harness and capture our data assets. This project's been an opportunity for us to explore how we can better use BIM to understand and capture information on those assets. Having this type of information will enable us to better match dwellings uh, to clients so that they meet their needs. And uh, it will also enable us to better identify buildings that can be modified, reused or repurposed. 
In terms of Curtin's relationship with the SBE, there's no doubt that it just provides an absolutely wonderful opportunity for how we actually can bring applied research and industry together with the university to create new approaches to how we actually deal with the management of our assets. The case study that's been used for 2.51, Building 109, in fact, where the property's business resides, that project is now complete. And the information that has come out of that detailed work has allowed us to take what has been a digital asset information model and turn that into a specific asset information manual for the building. I think the single, single biggest value of this research is that it really provides all of the information. It, I'm not going to say the answers, but it gives, it provides all of the information to allow, to allow client organisations at all levels, so from a, from a, from a BMW level, um, but also down to individual client agencies. It gives each of those clients at their different levels all of the information they need to make their decisions um, about how to invest in uh, digital asset management. And that includes the procurement. It'll, <clears throat> so it goes, and I suppose that's the other side of this, this research, it goes beyond design and construction and it looks very carefully at the opportunities for building maintenance, for asset maintenance. So, and it uh, packages up all of the information which clients need into one set of documents to allow them to make their decisions. I think it's really valuable research for us all. This manual, as well as the other components of this research, will improve effectively managing community assets, improving re uh, return on investment, improving sustainability, resilience and safety. We're really hopeful that the successful delivery of this research project will be a key starting point and stepping stone for the whole of industry to take this further um, across sector and start to bring parties together around the, the challenge of delivering and developing a digital version of their asset. The digital asset information uh, manual um, should be a really good guide to aid designers, contractors and owner operators to further their thinking, solutions and conversations in this space.